Chapter 5 Variables In this chapter, we'll demonstrate that variables are a place to store things for a short amount of time while the program is being executed. They can be used for many things, including storing the results of a form submission and keeping track of calculations. Temporary storage, such as this, is very important in a computer because programs are executed sequentially. There may be a number of steps that need to be performed in order to set things up for a later step. Let's have a look at example 4. There's a bit more to this program than some of our first overly simplified examples. First off, we've added a few things to make sure that the script is standards compliant and a bit nicer to look at. This includes the HTML header, a title, and a CSS file for some basic styling. For the most part, you can ignore all of this because understanding the content of these is not crucial to understanding PHP. Later, when you're working on your own files, feel free to copy the headers from this example and change them to suit your own needs. You should notice that in this example, we've incorporated both a block of PHP code that we learned about in Chapter 3, as well as a template with a number of PHP tags that will be replaced by dynamically generated information. Back in Chapter 3, we were already using variables, but now we'll take a closer look at what they are and how they work. So what does this program do? Well, loading the script in our browser shows a conversion table from inches to centimeters. Right now, it's not as useful as it will be later on, but it does show the way that variables can be used to store information for later processing and display. As new concepts are presented, we're going to be showing you how these concepts can be integrated into the program, eventually making it into a useful unit converter that users can interact with. Until then, let's look at what can be learned about variables from this program. First off, all variable names need to start with a dollar sign. This is a common mistake that's made by novice and advanced programmers alike. So if PHP is reporting errors with your script, and you can't figure out why, this is one of the first things to check. Many IDEs, such as Eclipse, contain a syntax checker that continuously scans your code for errors and reports them immediately. To see this in action, let's remove the dollar sign from this variable. Immediately, the IDE indicates a problem with this line. After saving the file, the problem also appears in the Problems pane at the bottom of the screen. Trying to load a script that contains an error like this will result in PHP reporting an error such as this one. Next, variables must always be written to before they're read from. A variable is written to any time a value is assigned to it, such as in this statement where the string inches is assigned to the variable called from name. A variable is read any time it's used in a statement and isn't being assigned to. In this line, from quantity and conversion rate are both being read from. If they hadn't been assigned a value above, PHP would report an error. When choosing names for your variables, you should be aware that PHP is a case-sensitive language, so be careful to use the same case each time that you refer to a variable. Also, characters that are allowed in variable names consist of the letters A through Z, both upper and lower case, the numbers 0 through 9, and the underscore character. Some other extended characters are allowed, but the use of these is strongly discouraged. There are many differing opinions on how variables should be named. We won't get into a discussion of the merits of each method, but in the examples for this video, you'll see the camel caps convention used exclusively. Camel caps consist of a variable beginning with a lowercase letter and then subsequent words in the variable name are capitalized. This makes variable names quick to type and easy to read. Most variable names, in fact, can be carefully chosen so that they're self-describing. The best example of this is the variable named conversion rate. This gives a clear and unambiguous indication of what this variable is used for. When this is the case, additional comments would just be redundant. Let's review some of the important things to remember about variables from this chapter. First, variables provide temporary storage 
only while your program is being executed. Also, PHP requires that variables always begin with a dollar sign. PHP is a case-sensitive language. This means that a lowercase a is not the same as an uppercase a. Variables must be written to before they're read from. Otherwise, the results can be unpredictable and PHP might issue warnings or errors. Finally, variable names should be thoughtfully chosen such that the name is representative of the information stored within the variable.